there are so many seniors at the holidays who have nobody. So the ombudsman and the smile makers work together to make sure that the gifts that these seniors receive are something that they need or that they want, but most of all, we want to make them feel like somebody has remembered them and that people love them. Angel tags for the smile makers are like little Christmas lists, so it has the name of the individual and a few items that they might like to have for Christmas, and we try to match what's on their list as best we can, wrap it up, and then give it to them for the holidays. It's a great project. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. It's our holiday tradition now. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's the heart of Christmas, uh, at least for me. I hope we've made a lot of people happy. I feel love for the seniors. I feel love for the wonderful people that I work for, and I love Christmas. When I started back in 2005, we did 1,700 gifts, and this year we're gonna do 5,700 gifts. And it's just amazing how the project has grown over the years. I think it's due to the ombudsman, the advocates for the residents throughout the facilities that really reach out and make sure that those seniors that are potentially forgotten do get recognized and get a gift. This program is driven entirely by the efforts of the community, whether it's donated gifts, whether it's funding that comes from the community so that we can purchase boxes and tissue paper and wrapping paper and tags and everything else that's required. And we find that young children are particularly interested in participating in the program, whether it's the Girl Scouts, the Boy Scouts, a youth group. It's just the most wonderful thing. It's an outpouring of tremendous support from the community that would not be possible without everybody coming together. I love to know that what I'm doing is going to be helping so many seniors later on who might not get somebody to spend the holiday season with. We made about 4,600 cards and we made them because we know that it's important that every senior gets something for the holidays and we wanted everybody involved so we got a bunch of people involved and we all made cards together and we ended up having so many cards, it was awesome. If you have the time and the ability, you really need to go out yeah. and help where you can because mm -hmm. Everybody needs a little bit of help every once in a while, mm -hmm. and it's important not to forget that, and the community needs to remember its senior citizens and help give back. And they need to know that someone cares. Someone, someone cares. cares. The measure of a community is how we treat our older adults, and this is one program that year after year, again and again, we show that we can treat our older adults with respect and dignity and let them know that they're remembered and let them feel that they're important because they are. The Ombudsman and the Smile Makers programs are very much entwined. The Holiday Project is such a special part of both programs and really the impact on the residents is just something that everybody should see. Christmas is a children's holiday. Everybody focuses on children, and I think that's wonderful. Children should have that recognition. But we forget that we were all children at one time, and it's lost a lot of the glow. When you're in a nursing home, and you really have nothing to look forward to, that Christmas party, when they bring Santa Claus in and distribute those presents, is, it's a joy. It's an absolute joy to see.